issues with remyelination um, have to have to um, really focus in on the cells that are present within the nervous system that have the potential to differentiate into a cell that can actually reform the, the myelin that is lost, uh, specifically in the cases of multiple sclerosis. So the approach has always been to, um, to really target these cells and push these cells to, to reform the myelin. So we do have new drugs now that are going directly into the clinic as a phase two trial um, to try to promote remyelination in people with MS. So we finished our first small clinical trial and we're starting another one um, with, in collaboration with uh, the ICM as well. The goal is to, um, is to improve the quality of life of the patients. Um, but one of the major problems in multiple sclerosis is that over time we lose not just the myelin but the axons. And so the loss of the axons is what is thought to be responsible for the chronic disability in MS. Um, what we're finding now is if we get the myelin around the axons, we can keep the axons alive. And so the goal is to restore function and uh, protect the axons from degeneration. Will these drugs work? So far, we think that this is the first indication that we can see some repair. Um, but we need more powerful drugs and more powerful mechanisms that can um, really um, I guess induce robust repair. So we're still working, still working on those things, yes.